Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Standing here with me, mm. Representative Wendy Gilliard, District 111. He is here to talk about the hate crime bill, mm. H3063. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. It's good to be here. Always good to be here. Okay, what's yes. in that crime bill? Well, definitely, uh, we have to have the law, number one, uh, because we're one of four states mm -hmm. that don't have a hate crime bill. Mm -hmm. uh, as you well know, during the uh, incident with the Mother Manual 9, mm -hmm. uh, many cries came out. And I don't know how many people saw the Mother Manual movie, but mm -hmm. I had people call me and said, Wendell, you saw how many times that they were crying that this was a hate crime? This was a hate Well, it was a hate crime. And you know, we got to get out of this category, but we always want to be uh, first in the things that are last and last in the things that are first. Mm -hmm. Now we have four states uh, that don't have a hate crime bill. And we're talking about Wyoming, Arkansas, Georgia, you know, and us, of course, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And people got to understand, if we don't do something now, we'll never get the opportunity again. Now, Peter McCoy, he's the chairman, mm -hmm of the Judiciary Committee at the state level. Mm -hmm. He's actually signed on to H House Bill H3063. Okay. And that's that, and the reason why I had to mention his name, because you know I want to give him his kudos. He's a strong Republican, and he saw the need for a hate crime bill. So he actually signed on to it. That's powerful at the state house level. In other words, when that bill was assigned to his committee, he sent it down to his subcommittee, mm -hmm. okay? They actually approved it uh, this past session, mm -hmm. okay? But when we got, you know, we got to the point where we approved it and everything, it went through the legislative process, it was time to adjourn. So now, since it passed that subcommittee, it goes back to the main committee, mm -hmm. which is the, is the Judiciary Committee, okay? It will be heard in January. So what it has a What will the bill help us do? Well, it's a penalty. You'd be charged with a felony. Uh, if you're charged with a hate crime, if you break that law, mm -hmm. you, you, the minimum you will pay is $2,000 up to $10,000. The time you will spend is the minimum is two years up to 15 years. Right now, we have no law on the books, so there is no penalty. Now, I've been getting calls from civil rights organizations mm -hmm. and many groups around the city of Charleston and state of South Carolina. When the bill comes up, to be heard in January, you have to remember, we're having forums throughout this whole state. In other words, we're taking on other ideas. You know, like we heard one group, oh, that video that came out two weeks ago in Lexington up around there, mm -hmm. the hate crime bill, does not, that's, that's not included in the hate crime bill. Well, guess what? When the bill is heard in January, we already been contacted by our legislative department and we gave them orders to go ahead and make amendment to the bill. So we can amend the bill to include that. You, you see what I'm saying? So if it's the things that are not in there now, when it comes up in January, believe me, we can amend it and we can, the bill will be inclusive. I call it the human rights bill because that's what this is really. Everybody has a right to life. We watch TV. Every week we turn the TV on, there's shootings around the country. Yeah. I mean, it's getting worse. It is. Well, if you read the FBI report, they have attracted 17 new hate groups here in the state of South Carolina alone. I mean, what that tells you, you know, we should have had a hate crime bill way before they did the tracking. And 17. that's 17 new groups in the state of South Carolina. Read the FBI report. I challenge anybody, fact check me, please, because that's important. But we need this hate crime bill. And I'll give you a case in point when we're working together in Columbia, mm -hmm. how quick we can do things mm -hmm. when we're in unison, working together. Mm -hmm. You remember the Samantha Josephson yes. bill the, with the Uber cab driver? Uber Supposedly cab driver. been an Uber cab driver. Mm -hmm. Okay. It took us anywhere from four to five weeks for that bill to become law. Now, mind you, this is my third attempt with the hate crime bill. And we're talking Mother Manual happened, what, four years ago 2015. now? 2015. Four years, mm -hmm. okay? So my point is, surely we can do it for what we did this past session with the Uber law. Mm -hmm. We can do it for the Mother Manual because we're way overdue, okay? One life is one too many. The young lady that that happened to with the cab driver, and I call him impersonator, mm -hmm. it should, nobody deserves to die like that, okay? 
But my point is, if we can work together on that to become law, surely we can get together on the Mother Manuel Nines uh, incident and make and have a hate crime bill in the state of South Carolina. What can the public do to help you? Start calling your representatives, your state senators, writing letters. I've actually gotten a resolution from local municipalities backing H3063. Okay, I talked to Teddy Pry on Charleston City, uh, Charleston County Council. Uh, just before I came here, and he's moving to this, this week to go ahead and move that they uh, vote on a resolution to support to support House Bill Thirty Six. There are 60, some towns that have already done resolutions to support it. Yes, they have. Hilton, Hilton, Hilton is one of them. Mm -hmm. And I, Hollywood, you know, Hollywood. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, they're behind it a thousand percent. So I'm trying to encourage the city of Charleston, all local municipalities throughout the state of South Carolina, to follow suit. Because, you know, anything that I do, I believe in starting a movement. This is not a moment. This is a movement. Because we need a hate crime bill. We're, this is way overdue. And I'm going to tell you why the other states that they went and implemented their own hate crime bill. Number one, if you read in our research, we found out that the other states did it because when you look statistic-wise, the federal law compared to the state law, the federal law, they're, slow, they're very slow to expedite these cases. They still have hate crime cases on the books. Well, whereas when we implement our own in-house bill, the state, mm -hmm. we have the manpower to do it. We can expedite these things quicker than the federal government. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for being here on Bouncing Around Charleston. Well, I hope I come back to shake your hand and when this thing becomes law, because I think it's very important that people understand that we need House Bill 3063 as a hate crime bill law in the state of South Carolina. You heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston, the hate crime bill law, Bill H3063. Representative Gilliard, District 111, told you all about it. Coming up next, the Reverend Nelson B. Rivers III and the Shonda Hunter is here. We'll be here to talk about the charity foundation and the update and a concert right after this break. <laughs>